Well, today marks the start of an exciting new chapter in John and Rachel's lives together. And it means a lot to them that they can share this occasion with the family and the friends who mean so much to them. Through their vows, they will be making a commitment to each other for the rest of their lives. And through your presence here today, you are all expressing your support for them. John, will you take Rachel to be your wedded wife? Will you share your life with her? Will you always be loving, faithful and loyal in living your lives together? I will. Rachel, will you take John to be your wedded husband? Will you share your life with him? Will you always be loving, faithful and loyal in living your lives together? I will. <laughs> not coming out. Nope. <laughs> I, Jonathan Daniel Laws. I, Jonathan Daniel Laws. Take you, Rachel Helen Cottrell. Take you, Rachel Helen Cottrell. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. And I give you this ring. And I give you this ring. As a sign of our marriage. As a sign of our marriage. And as a symbol of our love. And as a symbol of our love. I promise to care for you. I promise to care for you. To respect and cherish you. To respect and cherish you. Throughout our lives together. Throughout our lives together. Place it firmly on your groom's finger for me. Holding his hands, and now I'd like you to say these words, please. I, Rachel Helen Cottrell. I, Rachel Helen Cottrell. Take you, Jonathan Daniel Laws. Take you, Jonathan Daniel Laws. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. And I give you this ring. And I give you this ring. As a sign of our marriage. As a sign of our marriage. And as a symbol of our love. And a symbol of our love. I promise to care for you. I promise to care for you. To respect and cherish you. To respect and cherish you. Throughout our lives together. Throughout our lives together. Never leaves the seat up or wet towels on the front of the floor. The toothpaste has the lid on and he always shuts the door. She's very clean and tidy, though <laughs> <laughs> so she may sometimes salute, leave things out at your peril in a second they'll have moved. <laughs> he romances her and dines her, home-cooked dinners and the like. He even knows her favourite food and spoils her day and night. She's thoughtful when he looks at her, a smile upon his face. Will he look that good in 50 years with his dentures out of place? <laughs> <laughs> he says he loves her figure and her mental prowess too, but when gravity takes over, will she charm with her IQ? <laughs> she says she loves her, um, she says he loves she loves his kindness and his patience is a must, and of course she thinks he's handsome, which in her eyes is a plus. They're both not wholly, wholly perfect, but who are we to judge? He can be pig-headed, whereas she won't even budge. <laughs> All that said and done, they love the time they spend together, and I hope, as I'm sure you do, that this fine day will last forever. <coughs> be more than just a husband, he'll also be a friend, and she'll be more than just his wife. She'll be a soul to <laughs>
Hello to you all and thank you all for coming. You know, it's a real pleasure to see you. And just just to be here with Rachel and John is just unbelievable. You know, you sort of wait all this time for this day and when it comes you think, my God, you know, it's just unbelievable, isn't it? And all parents go through that and, and it's 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 just touches you, doesn't it? We're all here. And it's really nice to have you all here to celebrate this special day for Rachel and John. I'd like us all, actually, to, to take a moment to remember Rachel and John's grandparents, who are sadly not with us today. They are, they are actually photos of them on the mantelpiece in the library, if you would like to go and have a look at or anything like that. And I'm sure they're looking down on us today with a big smile on their face and they're happy for these two lovely people. Today is my daughter's wedding day and a wonderful thing it is to see her so excited, so happy to be his. But Rachel was my little girl who loved her daddy and her toys. But then I couldn't stop it. She grew up and loved the boys. <laughs> From golden locks and lollipops she grew up straight and tall, from baby things to a wedding ring, how I loved her through it all. It is my Rachel's wedding day, how fast this time did go, from little feet in Sesame Street to her wedding gown that flowed. But once she was my baby girl, my firstborn, the love of my life, but now she is a woman and just become John's wife. And now they will go forward to enter married life, to share the good and beautiful times, the happiness and the strife. I wish them both the best of luck with a prayer my heart can see. That God has blessed John with a beautiful baby girl, just like he did for me. Thank you. We, um, we fell in love pretty much straight away. We told each other that I love you within a couple of weeks. We were, we were living together after a couple of months. Um, and then we got the biggest surprise of all. It, it turns out that my swimmers <laughs> don't just work, but they've got superhuman power. They even work between the spare room and Rachel's bedroom, which I told Helen I always stayed in. <laughs> Our gorgeous daughter Lily, Lily was the best thing that ever happened to us. Um, the day Lily was born was one of the happiest days of our lives. Um, I'll tell you a, little, a really quick story, a lot of you have probably already heard it, but um, I, I, before Lily was born, Rachel and I w weren't really criers, um, but since Lily was born, we cry a lot. Um, and, and on the day that Lily was born, she came out and I started kind of sobbing a little bit. And as soon as Lily started to cry, I went, I'll do an exact replica of what I did. I went, Bleh! and blubbered. So much so that Rachel on the operating table said, Johnny, you're embarrassing me, shut up. <laughs> but it was the happiest day of all. <laughs> I suppose I need to finish really by telling you all what I love so much about Rach. Um, and there are an awful lot of things that I love about her. Um, she does absolutely everything for me and Lily. Uh, she's just an incredible person. She's so thoughtful, she's so kind. She looks after us. Um, she's stunning. She, um, she makes me laugh every single day. 
Um, she's gonna kill me for this one, but one of the things that I love the most about Rach is that she gets little sayings wrong all the time. So you know things like, um, I'll give you a really good example. Um, instead of saying teaching grandma how to suck eggs, she once said to me, Johnny, that's like teaching grandma how to suck plums. <laughs> I was like, yeah, good one, mate. <laughs> there, are loads, there, are, there are loads of us, but I don't want to embarrass her too much. Um, I suppose the thing that I love the most about Rachel is what an incredible mummy she is to Lily. And I'm sure everyone will agree, if they see Rachel with Lily, she just does everything for that little girl. And that little girl loves her so much. And I love her so much. So I do want to raise a glass to my gorgeous bride and an incredible mummy. So Rach. It's an amazing privilege for us both to stand up here today in front of all John and Rachie's friends and family um, and share with you the John that we know and perhaps some of you do but maybe some of you don't know. <laughs> First of all though, we both want to say a massive thank you to Rachel for organising this unbelievable wedding. I know personally she's been working incredibly hard to make it as special as possible and she's really, really pulled it off. Can't be easy planning this whole day while still working as a teacher, looking after an 18 month year old baby, Lily, and cleaning up after a 31 year old man, John. <laughs> <laughs> but she's done amazing. Since John met Rach, I've never seen him cleaning so much. Hoovering the floor, mopping the floors, cleaning the kitchen, tidying up all the time. This is a guy who used to have clothes thrown all over his bedroom floor. Bed never made, clothes spilling over his dirty laundry basket, dirty undies on the bathroom floor. <laughs> Every night he would go to bed with a two litre bottle of Pepsi Max or Dr Pepper for a drink in the night. And now I'd be surprised if he was even allowed fizzy drinks upstairs. I'm not. And I'd be very surprised if dirty undies on the floor went unpunished. Definitely not. Actually, Rachie's done a sticker chart for John at home. <laughs> for his chores. She actually has. <laughs> Normally a best man speech is supposed to be a bit of a roasting um, for John and recalling some more embarrassing times over the years and particularly spilling the beans to everybody who doesn't know him. But the more I thought about what to actually say today, the more I realised how much of a drunken bellend I'd been over the years. <laughs> <laughs> and what an absolute legend this guy has been and I've lost count of the number of times that he's been my knight in shining armour, John, so I have to thank you for that. <laughs> so sometimes in life you meet a person who can change your life for the better. I know that there are a few people sat around this room who can say that about John, and I'm definitely one of them. He's always been there for me and my family, through thick and thin. And I know how much he means to my sister, my mum, and my dad, and they love him like one of their own. Repeat after me. Everyone ready? Yeah. Anipa. 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 Anip